In a second, we're going to be looking at one of my all-time favourite um, TVs to repair. Uh, one of them. Uh, the LG 42-inch, both the LN and LB model. And I've just noticed that one of the cameras is really out of focus. So um, let me try and bring it into focus by bringing... There we go. Thank you. Um, yes, the 42LN and 42LB. This is a 42LB. I'll show you the model number if you don't believe me. <coughs> um, I think I've repaired a few of these on the channel before. We are getting to an age now, November 2014, so this is almost 10 years old. Well, no, that's a bit unfair. It's eight years and a bit. And it's going to have a backlight issue without a shadow of a doubt. I picked this up very cheap. Um, a couple of days ago. Uh, whether I'm going to put a full set of backlights in it or just get it up and running, I don't know. Um, I think if I've got a full set, if there's a full set in my selection of backlights outside, and I think there possibly is, I've got a little storage unit outside with backlights in, and if there's a full set, we'll stick a full set in, because um, I won't keep this, I will sell this on. And if I'm selling something on, especially with a warranty, I like to put a warranty on it, obviously. Um, the other thing I want to do is just say um, um, a hello, which is uh, uh, um, that camera there. Hello to all the, um, the new members that have joined us over the last uh, week or so. The channels seems to have picked up an extra 1,200 1, subscribers in the last week. I don't know why. I think it was something to do with my rant about recycling. But nice to have you on board. Nice that you found me. And we will have a look at this TV for those people that have been with me for ages since day one, which was probably about three or four years ago. Uh, you'll know that usually sitting in this chair here is um, a cat. But um, there's no cat today because um, I've employed a security guard. And the security guard is just outside here, look, sitting outside the workshop and... Um, as the security guard is new, the cat's not 100% sure just yet. It's going to take a few months for them to realise that the new security guard is full-time. So uh, Misty will no doubt come in about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock this evening. So anyway, let's just have a look at this TV. Um, I will stand it up. It's in very good condition. And I'm always honest with people about prices and stuff. I paid 15 pounds for this one five and it's complete with a remote and a stand and a box would you believe not the original box but it is an lg box all the same but it's in very good condition you know to say this is eight years old and it is a smart tv and i do believe most of the apps are still working on this so um let's just switch it on and I think it says it's coming on even though it's not coming on if that makes sense I just want to go looking for an LG, whatever TV I have, what I'm playing with, I can never find the darn remote for it. Ain't that weird. Here we go. Here's an LG smart remote. Yes. Right, so we can see by the light down there um, that we're in standby. When that standby light goes out, there should be an LG logo here that comes up. Now, I don't know how much of that you saw, but I saw it. Usually on these, if it's a backlight failure, uh, the screen flickers a little bit. You still get a little bit of backlight action. Um, but what I'll do is just get one of these Lights, it may help you see. Are you ready? We'll switch it on again. Here we go. There it is. 
Could you see the LG logo? You possibly did. So, it is backlights that are needed. Now, I say I'm a fan of these sets and I do like repairing them, but when it first came to started repairing these, which I suppose was about five years ago when they first started coming in, this is a very popular set. Um, I would say um, three to five years ago, this was one of the best selling TVs uh, in, in the size and price range at 42 inch. I think these were about 500 pounds. I mean, it's amazing what you can get for your 500 pounds these days, but in those days, you got this. And um, th they were just a, a, a really nice, smart TV. Um, but to replace the backlights, you have to take everything out. Obviously, the screen has to come up, but also does um, every board in the back. So you really have to dismantle the TV to nothing, which is sometimes a pain, sometimes a bit of fun. Let's have a bit of fun. You can always tell on this model if it's never been tampered with, because these are always left in the top. Don't always see them. Nice to see them. Anyway... Let's get the back off. Speakers out. This is just the infrared bar and the Wi-Fi bar. So there is the sensor for your remote, the on and off switch that's based at the bottom, a Wi-Fi board, we're just taking it out. Um, if we're gonna put a whole new set in, the boards will have to come off too which is no big problem really. Just bear in mind that if you have recently powered up the settee, the settee, <laughs> the TV, that the main filter cap could still have a charge in it. So you're either gonna to want to discharge that or just be very good and don't touch the filter cap or surrounding contacts. Do make sure you take all the screws out first. The reason we take the boards out is because if we are putting a whole new set in, and I'm still not, con I'm, I don't know if we are, I don't know if I've got a replacement set yet, I'm bound to have some new strips or bulbs I can, odd bulbs I can repair to get it up and running again. Um, but we need to take these clips out. And of course there are clips under the boards, but we, we won't be looking at that until we, we, we have a look at the destruction of the set itself. So anyway, next is the T-Con. T-Con is short for Timing Connection Board. Just a couple of screws, and once we've disconnected the LVDS cables from the screen, which is down here, so now we just have a screen. If you ever buy a screen, which you can't, but some people sell them second hand, I suppose, this is just what you get. So you get the screen, they call it a panel. So you get the screen, you get the back panel, you get the back lights, and you should get a T-Con. So that T-Con I've just taken out always should come with a screen. The screen circuitry is hidden under these little flaps here. I say these, this is one long flap. So I've taken the full screws out there. There are some screws at the front. There are screws all around the screen, 
but these screws at the front are different to the rest around the screen. They are twice as long. Only three of them, but twice as long. So just remember that. Long screws at the front. There we go, that's out. We're getting there. I'm just gonna take out all the screws from um, around the screen here. I think that's all the screws out, I think so. Right, next job, I'll just gently move the mobile camera out the way so we can hopefully get a better view and see. It's just to lightly pull these out. These are one of the easiest to come out. So just be very gentle because we're going to be turning the TV the other way around to lift off the bezel. Now notice, as I've pointed out a few times before, I have those little flaps overlapping here. So you can see that I haven't got them on the bench themselves. Okay? Right. Because I've got to get this off first. The front bezel this is where i find out if i've taken out all the screws or if i've messed up have i messed up Ooh. probably have because it's not moving that way just one It's a little bit more difficult to come off than it should have been. And now we are ready to lift up the screen. The screen is going to go up there. If I bring the other camera in, you'll see what I mean. Bump. And up it goes. Next is getting the bezel off. Be careful now because make sure your hands are reasonably clean because you don't want to get any dirty marks on here because they will show up on the screen afterwards. There's no real reason why your hands should be touching the diffusers anyway, but accidents do happen. Now 
like that. Just broken one clip, doesn't matter, there are several more. and then take all the diffusers off together. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this TV is in what I would class as mint condition. Normally, all of these um, LED covers, the little individual diffusers, uh, come off, but on these, they're fine. So I'm just gonna make, make it go dark, and we shall test the LEDs individually and see how many we've got broken, fused, not working. Hopefully you can see okay. There are some test points on the side here. So we're just lighting up the bottom set. And as you can probably see, the whole of the bottom set is lit up. Let's try the next set. We've got one gone on that one. I don't know if you noticed, but that one didn't light up. Try again. Let's have a look at the top set. One gone on the top set. Oh, sorry. Second to top set. This is the top set. And there's two gone on that one. So I'm really hoping that I do have a set that I can put in, put a full set in. I think it's needed. Let's see what we've got. So all the clips I've taken out and all the little clips around the edge too, which means, oh, we've lost a, a lens already. It means when I lift up, you can't see at the moment, but my workbench is full of the clips and I'm just gonna put these somewhere safe. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a full set. So I'm not putting a brand new set in. This is not for a customer. Obviously, if it was for a customer, we'd have ordered a set in advance. In fact, I ought to stock up with a few of these anyway. They don't come in that often these days, but they are still, um, they are still coming in, so I will need to get some. But for now, I'm just gonna replace the faulty ones. I've managed to find um, some brand new strips here. These are brand new. They've still got sticky tape on the back, but I haven't got a full set. But we'll replace what we have. And hopefully, and hopefully it will be enough to get it going. So I'm just gonna do the light thing again because I'll need to remind myself. The bottom set I remember was fine. Yes. Right. That set had one gone, which is a B and it's there. This is a B, is it the correct B? Um, it looks different. Yeah, it doesn't match up there, so that's not right. Is this a correct B? Yes. Okay. And let's just check that all of them are working. Yes. Okay, so we can swap this one out. I'm just going to take the clip out and then gently lift it up. The lenses will pop off, don't panic. They all do. So 
So there we go. So that's that one replaced. Uh, again, just a reminder, if you're doing this for your own TV, do put a whole new set in. Um, I'm just passing time on a Sunday afternoon and I thought I'll get it going anyway. So we've now got all bottom strip working. Next strip working, I just need to glue that one in, wasn't there? Yes, we need another B. Right, new ones in where possible, which means means I should do the test really, shouldn't I? So, well, we know the bottom set was fine. We had missing one on those, but we haven't now. New strips in there, new strips in here. So that one is also good. And the top one had two missing and it now hasn't. They're all lit up. Let's assemble the TV and see if we get a picture this time. Time to put the boards back on. We have a standby light, but we had that last time, to be honest with you. Now we just want an LG logo. That's not good, is it? Really does help if you plug in the backlights to the power board. And there it is. 
Wonderful.